hey guys welcome to my channel hey guys i got my chicken sandwich i got my chicken sandwich finally got my chicken sandwich first of all i didn't want to eat this chicken sandwich because i didn't want to die okay second of all i took so long to eat this chicken sandwich because Every time I would go into Popeyes, they literally had like 13 to 15 sandwiches just there. Do you think, as crunchy as Popeyes chicken is, do you really think that I want to eat a sandwich that has been sitting there for God knows how long? Uh-uh, I love my gums. My, uh, mm, 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 I can't. So nobody got time to wait 15 minutes in a line for a damn chicken sandwich. Like, yeah, okay. I, I don't know what this tastes like, but it can't not be that serious. Okay, okay. You know that it's that serious when there's three police officers already in Popeye's there and they chicken sandwiches. Like, damn. I can't wait to breathe. I love what <laughs> we don't get this, this chicken sandwich butter because mm. Mm -mm. you know you can't have you can't have Popeyes and not have their french fries mm. they're the best thing ever is their fries now before I get into the chicken sandwich I got one spicy and one regular. Because we're going to do this right. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to come correct. I love, 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 love Popeyes. It's called the sweet heat sauce. So apparently, that shit don't exist no more. And now they got this voodoo sauce. But I'm sorry. And they got the voodoo chicken. Mm -mm, I'm sorry. Anything that has the words voodoo on it, I ain't eating it. I ain't eating it. This is the original. I'm going to start you off with the original chicken sandwich. Um, Here goes nothing. Now, normally I would take off the pickles, but I'm not because this, this sandwich don't got nothing else. Oh my god Oh my goodness. I know y'all know who this Robin Crawford is. I believe I'm saying her name right. She was on the Wendy Williams show. And, ooh, this is the spicy one. Yes. Oh, I see that spicy mayo. Mm. She was on Wendy Williams uh, talking about her new book and talking about that she was um, Whitney Houston's lesbian lover now as interesting as that is when i saw the interview i'm sorry but in my opinion you being the alleged lesbian lover to whitney houston i just don't buy it i mm -mm, i just don't i'm sorry now what it looked like is that you waited for her to die this lady died February 2012 mm -mm. 
And it's 2019. And now you want to talk about it? Now you even want to write a book because you got so much to say that you could write a book about it. Allegedly. I think happiness. I believe you loved her. Mm-hmm. You know. Has any of you guys, my girlfriends know what I'm talking about. Has any of you guys ever had a friend that's a little, you know, gay or bi or whatever she wants to call herself. And she has a crush on you. And then one day, you know, one day you guys kiss. I don't know if it goes further, if it goes less, if it stays there. The point is that you do that. And then you kind of realize, like, mm, maybe it's not, it's not something you want to do. I ain't finished my sandwich real quick. I'll go watch that clip because, you know. Now, after a couple of decades of silence, she's sharing her story of friendship in uh, and romance in Whitney's, um, in her new book. It's called A Song for You, My Life with Whitney Houston. Please welcome for the first time to our show, our Wendy exclusive, Robin Crawford. <laughs> Chicken sandwich style. How you doing? But yes, yes. If you see the interview, she talks about it like her parent and Whitney Houston had this amazing love affair. Not affair, sorry. This amazing relationship. I just know they were the love of each other's lives. And I just don't buy it. I'm sorry. My bullshit radar just went ding, 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 ding. It's just... No, honey, no. I think that she tried it because she really loves you. I do believe that she loves you, but she loves you as a friend. I believe that she loved you very much as a friend. I believe she trusted you with her whole life as a friend. I believe that when she did that, she because that happens. Sometimes you have best friends, boy or girl, that you kind of take to the next level because you just think that maybe cause it feels right. Like, And then you're kind of like, mm, why did I do that? Oh, my God. And you ruined the relationship. You have to see this Wendy Williams episode. Much later that summer, we were, we, she asked me to walk her to her home, and I did. Mm -hmm. And um, we just sat back on her sofa, on the floor, and um, it was just, it was that time. What time? A time to just get a little closer. So we did, and it was just like that. She had just a, kiss. a little, a little closer, yeah. and it was. Well, now, let me ask you, are you gold star lesbian? No disrespect to Whitney Houston. She was amazing, but you disrespectful. How you do that to her? Hmm? Really married, you got kids. Why are you talking about it then? Why are you talking about some things like that, honey child? Why? I do believe you stuck around, not because of the money. I do believe you stuck around because you genuinely loved her. But I think that you were waiting for her to give you this love back, like this unconditional love that you were giving to her. Yeah, she couldn't give you that because her love did have conditions, you know? And the condition was that she couldn't love you in that way. She 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 loved men. She had multiple um, men relationships. I don't believe that because she had one female relationship that that's it. She's considered gay or she was considered bi. There are no labels, no labels. Let's not do that to that lady. She had an experience with you and I think it was only that one isolated experience it, it's a it would surprise me if they were two that you know didn't have to deal with some interference <laughs> maybe two with some interference you know what I'm saying because we all know them when he did a couple of <laughs> a little thingy thingy she did a few thingy thingies maybe two I'll give you two but it wasn't her cup of tea. She was never going to marry you. 
Because she didn't want that for herself. Now I see Sin Santana and Joe Barton. They went together. And that is a couple, allegedly. I don't know if they're together. But they went together to Erica Manor's baby shower. Yeah, we're looking fly. Now, I'm not really a fan of Erica Manor. I like, I was the Sin Santana fan. My sister's the Erica Manor fan. You know, Erica Manor's the Scorpio. She a Scorpio and they was just, she was, she, she loves her. My favorite was always Sin. I was a Sin girl. Sin, Sin, all day Sin Santana. Now, when I heard that Sin and Joe Barton broke up, there was a lot of rumors going around. Sin Santana ripped Joe Barton a new butthole when she was dead talking about. Oh, in the interview she did with with the I Love New York star, Tiffany. And it's called Brunch with Tiffany. That like she was up in there talking about it was the greatest decision of my life. Let me play that for you. Go ahead, go ahead, play that. Watch that, watch that clip for a second. I did what was best for my mental health for my peace Absolutely. and for me and my son. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, it was a decision that I I had to make on my own. This mm -hmm. was in a unison thing. Yeah. Oh, how can I keep this like, you know, very You can keep it as and... real as you want mm -hmm. and you can keep it as light as you want. I'm not here to press you. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to hear what you want to say to me. So, I mean, basically, let's just say that I'm probably the happiest that I've ever been. You look. And that was probably the best decision that I've made in my entire life. In the 26 yeah. years I have been living on this earth, mm -hmm. the best decision mm -hmm. I made was leaving that relationship. And my son and I are amazing. Honey, child. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Why she do that man like that? Mm-mm-mm. A rumor has it that allegedly Joe Button cheated with a dark skinned um, Instagram model who is gorgeous by her, by the way. She is gorgeous. But rumor has it that allegedly, since in time, I know that Joe Button likes black girls. Like, I'm okay. Black girls are gorgeous too. And allegedly, she was very insecure, or very um, jealous. And when a female would come over to the house, we're on the phone like, you bringing anybody else? Who are you bringing? Oh, is she dark skin? And allegedly, she wouldn't accept dark skin girls in her house. Dark skin girls that she didn't know in her house. I don't know. But anyway, other than that, everybody been really quiet about the reasons, you know, why they broke up, why they ended, blah, blah, blah. And to be honest, after they broke up, <sighs> Sin just didn't become, you know, I don't know. It was just kind of like whack. Mm. I like them as a couple. I want to see them as a couple. Sin Santana by herself, even though she came out with um that song the real real you whatever you i'm real in real life real life oh that's a good thing to say i'm real life even though you came out with that she had the nerve to come out her next thing was called no question talking about no question like you don't gotta question her loyalty no question she'll be the one to write it out for you are you crazy you didn't even write it out for your baby daddy that's the wrong time to drop that single <laughs> this man was your whole fiance he about to marry your ass propose to you on national television and y'all didn't work it out and you over here talking about no question Oh, oh, no question. It's sad to me because you you look like another talking really pretty girl. I just thought you was more than that, you know? Allegedly. 
anyways, I feel the same way about Erica Mena and Safari. I don't want to watch Erica Mena by herself. I don't want to watch Safari by himself. But as a couple, I don't know. They just make it work. As a couple, they're kind of entertaining. It's kind of cool. And their baby girl's going to be gorgeous. I don't care what nobody say. She is going to bring it on. It's gorgeous. Gorge. There are just some people that are better as a couple. So back to my point. Sorry, I said that to say this. When I saw that Joe Button and Sin Santana went to the baby shower and supposedly, allegedly, they was together the whole night, even was seen holding hands and dancing, made me happy on the inside. Made me like, mm hmm, let me find out you really about that. No question. No, no question. No, no. Let me find out. Cause y'all really made a very cute couple and your son gorgeous 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 and it's like i want to see that work you know i want to see it work i don't know i hope that is true you know i'm rooting for you guys and but not for nothing how you gonna go on love and hip-hop talking about that he don't want to touch you are you crazy Yo, they too young. yourself and your man's like that like i mean i know that you need something to talk about but damn girl some things you know you keep in that bedroom you need to spice it up spice it up in the bedroom by your damn self like don't invite everybody up in there damn damn well thank you guys for tuning in definitely check it out and i recommend both i recommend the original because it is it is amazing i recommend both um yes so thumbs way up way up i hope you like and subscribe and share this video so what do you think about everything that i spoke about to them let me know your opinions let me know what you think write it down in the comments especially if you saw the Wendy Williams interview with Robin Crawford. Oh my God. Mm mm mm. Whole lie. Whole lie, in my opinion. It's whole lie. Whole lie. Joe Button, stop playing with sin. You better stop it. Go get your girl back. We don't know if she want to come back. Go get your girl. So far, you got her girl back.